we are here on Main Street. That's right, Main Street, USA. <laughs> Actually, it's Main Street, Laurel, Maryland, but it really is Main Street. And we are here to visit a local cafe, more than Java Cafe. They sell breakfast, they sell coffee, tea, they even have a little performance area. So let's go check them out and see what's for breakfast today. Greetings foodies, my name is Kirsten, creator of Bacon and Bellini, your number one source of food, news, and restaurant reviews. Join me as I embark on a new journey to highlight excellence in food and bring it to your screen. Welcome to Bacon and Bellini Explores Culture and Cuisine. We are here inside of More Than Java Cafe, and this is okay. a local mom and pop coffee shop. It is owned by Tabitha and Ronnie Clark, and they are here with us today. So let's talk to Tabitha Clark about <laughs> the menu. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? How are you doing today? We're doing great. Good. Excited. Thank Excited you. to explore our local cafes and local coffee shops. Well, thank you. Thank you for letting us be one of those cafes. <laughs> So tell us, I see you have a lot on the menu. What is for breakfast? Oh my goodness, so for breakfast, we have options for everybody. We have vegan options. We have, um, you know, ones for gluten-free. We have every type of option you'd like. So one of the best things, or one of those big things that we do all the time, that is our chicken and waffles. It's jerk chicken and waffles though. Ooh. So we, <laughs> what we do, we have a, we start off with that, special recipe in a uh, waffle mix. And then we have our jerk chicken and waffles, which again, is not a stallboard jerk, uh, jerk seasoning. It's all done from us. So everything Ooh. is authentic jerk seasoning. So that is one of the uh, greatest things uh, here for breakfast. But I can't complain about anything. We haven't heard too many complaints at all. So anything you choose will be great for you. As you see, we have, you know, so many different options here, but like I said, anything you choose, I don't think you would have a problem with. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, what about for our smoothie lovers? Oh, my Tell goodness. Tell us about your smoothies. Absolutely. All fresh fruit and vegetables. Nothing is added. No sugars, no anything, no dairy. So our smoothies are actually vegan. Woo! <laughs> so if you really want to have an actual smoothie without all of the added stuff, <laughs> You must, you must, must, must come here. One that of our exactly. most popular is our green machine. Ooh. And that definitely gets you going because it has your kale, your ginger, your pineapple. I mean, I'm telling you, what can you ask for? <laughs> what more can you ask for? I like that, I like that. And then you also have coffee and tea. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. So for those coffee lovers, we have the smoothest, most, I mean, just great tasting coffee. Get you going in the morning. Not just your, you know, we don't just have your, your medium or your one types of roast. We have flavored coffees that are really, really local. And then our roaster is local as well. Ooh. So we definitely take pride on everything being as fresh as we can possibly get it. High quality. Um, so the coffee is definitely great. But you know, again, for all our tea, uh, tea lovers out there, we have something for them as well. So again, we have loose leaf teas, not Ooh. teas from a bag. <laughs> so loose we're gonna leaf. do um, with the cheese and everything else on it. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. um, Yes, yeah, so like I said, a, a plethora of types of teas, your herbals, your greens, your blacks, oh you know, you name it, we have it. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh-oh, loose leaf tea, everybody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Loose leaf tea. So this tea here is called a sweet tart. Ooh. You want to take a smell for me? Sweet tart. Mm -hmm. Let's smell it. Well, I don't know if I can smell. I know. <laughs> I'm going to have to, okay, I'm going to take this off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but 
Maybe they smell like over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, sweet tart smell. Sweet tart tea. What's in the tea? Sweet tart tea? That it has a cranberry. It, oh yeah, it, I it, love cranberry. Yeah, it's 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 a sweet, spicy taste. Okay. Very good. But like I said, it has it uh, contains like cranberry. It has a slight hint of cinnamon. Um, I'll actually tell you. Cranberry, uh -huh. cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Two of my favorite things. Apple. Apple. Uh huh. So far, so good. So far. And then it's a white hibiscus that goes with it as well. And white hibiscus. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna love it. I already know I'm gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, that's what that is. Look at this burger. This is huge. Can you guys see that? And everything's vegan. Vegan cheese, vegan patties, and of course, lettuce and tomato. So let's taste that. Okay. This is a, a burger. Now you taste like a real burger. The cheese is good. The cheese is really good. Hold on, let me taste it one more time. Taste the cheese part. Really get the cheese. Uh -huh. Now I see you guys have desserts over here. I'm trying not to look because it's you know before noon, but I hear you. I, I see you. desserts. Tell you me do. about your desserts. So with our desserts, um, we have, uh, again, we do have a little bit of everything. We have vegan desserts as well as, you know, your regular sugars and regular dairy, you know, items as okay. well. So we, do, again, we pride ourselves on having something for everyone. Wonderful. But I will, um, like I said, point out on that third shelf, that vegan carrot cake, vegan sweet potato pie. Are y'all listening? I'm to trying to tell you some good stuff. So. You know, that's what we have for our vegan lovers, but non-vegan lovers as, uh, as well, as well. Uh, oh, yes, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. They have something for everybody, mm -hmm. vegan lovers and yes. non-vegan. Okay, so tell me, why did you all open More Than Java Cafe? You know what, we are actually people people. We love people. Um, I love okay. to entertain. <laughs> and then I've always loved to cook and cater. Um, and we used to do all of those things in our home. Okay. But as we, as we all know, we can't have everybody in our home. Right. So we wanted to, you know, so we wanted to, you know, continue that. We wanted to make everybody feel like they did when they came to our house, nice and cozy. Um, so we decided, you know what, what better than to try something really small and try it out. And then, like I said, just really, really, um, just, just give everybody else you know, or more people, the same thing we love. Um, and because it is something that we authentically like to do, mm -hmm. it just came, you know, came really easy. And then really how long natural. have you all been in business? We have been here, or we, more than Java, this is our first location, uh, started in 2015. Okay. So, yeah, so June 26, 2015 is when we opened the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. So you celebrate your five-year anniversary. Congratulations. We did, we did. Thank you so much. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. So how has your business been impacted by the pandemic? You know what? For us, we had three locations. Oh, wow. And okay. unfortunately, when the pandemic hit, uh, we had to close two of them. Oh. But again, Laurel was our, you know, our, our staple store. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, the community has been great to us. So we, we never had to miss a day here. Um, we did have to lay off, unfortunately, the employees that we did have. So my husband and I, along with my mom, my son, my daughter, mm -hmm. um, really come in and we, you know, we're here. But my, we were fortunate enough, we have our staffer, Kelvin, who's also like family. He was in our Bethesda store. So that's Kelvin back there cooking up some of the stuff hey, for me. <laughs> and yeah, so with Kelvin, he was able to come over. So two days a week, we were able to, you know, get him back um, maybe only about, what, a month and a half ago. So, you know, so that's been a great help to us over here. But it, it has been tough, you know, mm -hmm. to see so many people. Like I said, we're all in it together. But to see everybody, you know, and all of the impact that it's had on certain, you know, so many businesses, 
we're just blessed. We look and say we're blessed every day that okay. we never had to close and we still get to help people. Wonderful. <laughs> and so how can the community help you? Like what 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 assistance do you need? You know what? Keep doing what they're doing. Okay. Coming to see us, you know, telling the friend, multiple friends <laughs> and family. That's right. Yeah. Utilizing us, you know, we're full service caterers as all, um, at, uh, as well. So just utilizing all of our services, like I said, just continue to come see us, come, you know, come by. Like I said, we're here doing what we can to serve you. We just, you know, want everybody to do the same Wonderful. for us. You guys, you guys heard that. Come by. <laughs> they, have, they offer catering, full service the catering. Mm -hmm. They have a full menu. Come by and visit. <laughs> Okay, now I see you have, you've adapted a little bit for the pandemic. I see the pick up here, mm -hmm. um, the pick up here station. Mm -hmm. So that seems to work really well. What else have you done to change the store around since, well, to meet the social distancing? You code? know what, just kind of closing that off, you know, blocking okay. it. Um, we, we showcase a lot of local artists and things like that. So instead of it being on a wall, we were able to put it on this little oh, divider. Nice. You know, give it more of a decor. <laughs> it looks, I love the vibe in Thank here. Thank you. I just want to say the vibe, the music. You guys, you got to come by and see. They have wonderful music because I'm a neo soul person and they have mm -hmm. the soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not really a soundtrack. The station. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what it is. You got to come and listen. But they're playing all your favorite music. Listen. Oh, I love this art. You have some talented art you have on display yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And these are all local artists? They are, they are. This is one gentleman, and I mean, he's done well. And if you, I don't know if you have gotten a little closer to it, this is all handwritten. Those are all words that oh created that art there. So it, it is wonderful. And if like you look at the little card that he has on his picture, um, it tells you what exactly it is. So it, it's wonderful. And how many hours it took him, it's great, great stuff. That is awesome. Yes. Full case here, okay. It what is. Do we have? So one of the other things that um, we have, I would say uh, over the last six, seven months um, that we have put in our store here, we have expanded Java Wellness. Okay. Oh, nice. Java so, Wellness. I like how that oh, sounds. Oh, absolutely. So, you know, again, we're in a pandemic, so we wanted to certainly educate others okay. on, you know, how to naturally, uh, how to naturally you know, help your body, help your immune mm. system, build that immune system, keep, keep it strong. So my husband actually does all of our fresh, cold, fresh juices. Really? All of our sea moss and uh, sea moss drinks and things like that. So that case belongs to him. <laughs> so what should, if people want to boost their Im immune system, what should they drink from this case? Or what should, you know what, anything from that case would help you. However, the gels and those um, jars at the top, those are sea moss and different, um, uh, different herbs and roots. So if you take those once or twice a day, you're set. You are really, really doing something for your system. Nice. Um, you know, and then, so again, we try to do everything as fresh as possible, you know, as in-house, um, do as much as we can in-house. So that way we can really tell you what you're putting in your body, what you, you know, what you're actually eating and drinking. Even um, over on the other side, on the top two shelves there, in that case, we have our teas and lemonade. And those are done by my mom. <laughs> now let's see here. We have the apple beet and lemon pineapple juice. Shake it. Okay, for immune health, everybody, some of these juices. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's, it's so weird, like tasting the juice. Like you can feel it. There's a difference in these types of juices and the juices you just get at the supermarket. Get a fresh press, cold press juice. Like I can feel it going down. I can feel it nourishing my body already just with one one sip like I feel like I'm getting energy I'm getting strength I don't know about the immunity part but <laughs> but I can feel the strength I can feel the energy and it's like my body likes it so this is good I'm gonna enjoy that very good okay
All right, oh all God. right. And I'm gonna grab famous. Now this is the salmon omelet. Look at that. Can you guys see what's in here? This is like full of salmon. Oh my gosh. It's full of salmon. It's got mushrooms. I see some red onions, some peppers, some spinach. This is gonna be great. I can already tell. Oh, this is good. What did they do to the salmon? It's the seasoning. That is delicious. This is like really delicious. Okay. I'm loving it. Get the omelet, look how big it is. You'd definitely be full for breakfast. And you got some extra spinach on the side. It's wonderful. Okay, so you see on the side of the van, they have home uh, jerk chicken and waffles. Here it is. Their famous jerk chicken and waffles. So if it's on the side of the van, it's gotta be good. And this is what they wanna serve to the Obama, so it's gotta be good. Good. Usually waffles are kind of kind of thin. Even though they could be, they could appear thick. They really don't have much depth or substance. But this is like almost like a cake, like a cake waffle. That's pretty good. I didn't even get the, the jerk chicken part yet. Just focusing on the waffle. because the chicken is really spicy and the waffle is really dense. So the waffle is soaked up with spice. That's great. Vegan sweet potato pie. You know, a lot of our foods are vegan. This is a testament that um, we should be proud of our foods. We shouldn't be ashamed of our foods. Oh man, it smells great. We have Nana's ginger mint tea. So I like ginger, I don't know if you guys know. I love ginger, I can eat ginger in all of its forms. And the first thing I taste with the ginger mint tea is the ginger, and I love it. But it's not overpowering for those who don't like ginger, but you still wanna take, like, you'll still like it. The ginger, it tastes like a familiar friend, like, oh, what is that? And it's, it's super sweet, this is really sweet. This one is sweeter than the beef. This is very sweet. The I almost can't taste the mint. there but the ginger is the star of the show the ginger is the sugar smoothie time shop local come to more than java cafe they care about you they care about what you're investing they care about what you're eating they care about the ingredients Okay, I'm going to eat all of this probably. <laughs> I'm going to eat all of this. But, for now, I'll say, join us on the next episode of Bacon and Bellini, Explores Culture and Cuisine. I am enjoying my time here at More Than Java Cafe. Thanks for coming along with us. 